Welcome back to the Olga Press Show. I'm your host, Olga. How you doing? <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. Let me tell you guys, let me tell you how I used to be my whole life. A Disney queen, cray cray, you name it, massive fan. I mean, you know, with the Little Mermaid coming out. I'm not even exaggerating. What do I see today? Now, I refuse to watch the new movie, but I've been watching other people's commentary. Mm -mm, Disney magic, magic this. Ursula, they're trying to say that the original was a drag queen. No, 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 no. I get it. I get it. And I love drag queens. Been watching them forever. Love them. I got massive memories, experiences. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I even went to see RuPaul live. He did a live show at in Philadelphia back in 97. Okay. I'll tell you all about that. Maybe later. Maybe just for my local members. I'll give you all the juicy details. But back in the day, the drag queen thing was so different than now. Okay. Period. End of the story. I mean, these men could really be like, wow, you know, they really make women look bad in, in a good way, right? They weren't doing the drag queen and beards and shit. Oh, stop. Mm -mm. RuPaul. But then now they're saying, oh, Utsla was inspired. Her makeup was inspired by the divine drag queen, which I know all about him. He used to hang out in New York, hung out with these people. Okay, that's, that's all good. The makeup is one thing, but to all these articles that were coming out, oh, no, it, it's drag. Listen. Mm, do you see that? Listen. <laughs> I'm going to get into that. And then, what else am I getting into? Oh, just one person that was on the Daily Mail today, as many of like the showbiz section. I'm going, you know, because I, we talk so much about men and women and dating and this and that. And one of the main issues is fake, 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 fake. So we're going to highlight somebody that I really don't know anything about. Maybe you guys do. Let me know. But again, if I'm wrong about the Ursula, do change my mind in the comments, whether it's a live chat or comment later on the replay. I'm, I'm for it. I'm open. Let's do it. And then we're going to talk about some real news, especially completely having to do with our current, you know, recent holiday weekend in the U.S., Memorial Weekend. And we're talking about some real news. And let's see who's talking about this. And again, so we're going to talk about that. I think I got enough to chew off with that one. Bibbidi babbidi boo. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Because the witches, the villains, right? They always had exaggerated makeup. You can't tell me that all the villains were created because of no, 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 no. In fact, in fact, guys. I, don't, I, I didn't have time today, but let me know if you know if it was the same guy that created Ursula for the 1989 Disney animation of The Little Mermaid and the bad guy, forgot his name, remember with the flame on his head from Hercules? Look at their smile. It's the same smile. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I don't know if I'll get into the whole Clint Eastwood because he just happened to be trending. Like, why is Clint Eastwood trending? Like, is he dead or something like that? We might get into that. We'll see. And I have a reaction video, music video in line as well. You know this. If you know me already, I'm going to wrap up the live stream with a live reaction of a music video. I got two that I picked out. Didn't put it out there. I want to surprise you. If you stick around, if you're with me, I'll share it later on. And either you guys pick or I'll flip a coin. But, I, but I, one of the two has to be done. And again, if you want to request and you want it to be on the top of the list, look at the description below and know how to do it to get me to do it sooner than later, for example, right? And I know I've got a lot of feedback about Ren and I'm totally in it. And, I, and that's, that's also on my list and it will happen. In the order it happens, it depends on donations. Oh, 
And if you haven't bought some merch, check out the merch. And when you do buy something, you know it supports me 100%. Supports the channel, supports my work, helps me fund it, fund any way to make this better, bigger. And it's not like maybe you guys are like, we don't need you to be bigger. Well, like, let me tell you something. There's so much more I can do, and I just, I physically can't. But I would love to create jobs for other people that need it, right? That's just one thing, right? But before I even get started, I thank you for all your support. Become a member if you haven't become a member. There's more than one reason. Just do it. It's a coffee a month, tops. And locals, that's a whole nother level. Check that out as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to increase all that because the more members I get on Locals, the more I can do on Locals. Yes. So, but nonetheless, share this content, like this content, smash that like button. Oh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm... Look at me. I'm already for glimpsed. Never fails. Never fails. Never fails. <laughs> well, for those who are new, awesome to have you. And if you've been here before... Welcome back, my love. You know, your comments are my fuel. I do read them and I will respond. And for those, if they're wondering, what's this about? Who is this? Well, here's a little quick intro. Hi, I'm Olga S. Perez coming at you live, unleashing the power of perspective, one reaction at a time. I've been a life strategist for over 20 years, and I'm here to share my insights on trending topics, current news, and music videos that we all want to talk about with love and humor. So I, I hope you guys got hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a great week so far. It's Wednesday, hump day. Hashtag hump day. And uh I'm live. Rumble, Twitch, YouTube. And guys, be okay, okay. If you really never want to lose me or keep in touch or get the best of all worlds. Locals, baby. Locals.com. Press Patriots. Anyway, the link is in the description below. I'll put it later also. Timestamps. Don't forget, if you don't know, when I do the reaction video, I'll also timestamp it. And I always do the first, you know, I interrupt as needed, as inspired, and then I let it play from the top. Again, because sometimes I forget to say it before the live. I mean, the before the reaction in itself. But I'm so happy. I love you guys so much. I hope you know that. Sharing this content, liking, commenting. I mean, any way you can help. But it's not just helping. It's keeping us together. And then attracting, uniting, because you know I'm shadow banned. So without you, this ain't happening. It's 100%. Can you believe that? And I love the comments that I read when people are like, I'm so glad I'm with you on this journey. Because it's so true. We are on a journey. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't still be here. But I'm hanging on a thread. So whether you want to become a member or not, I do. I would do all of the above. I mean, a member, coffee a month, right? Both on YouTube or on Locals or both. And then the merch. And I've mentioned it. If you don't already know, make sure when you buy something, wear it, take a picture. And if you don't want to show your face, you can put it on a table or something. Like say you got a coffee mug, you know? Take a picture, tag me on social media. I will share it all over the place. Absolutely. So shout out to all of you already who've been supporting me. Um, every time I see something, a member. Oh, especially in the lives, dude, when that thing pops up. New member. Yo, you know, I celebrate over here. I celebrate. Let me just make sure that everything's working fine. I'm checking all the streams. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. Come on now. Smash that like button. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> like I said, I was just checking on all the platforms. Am I, am I live? Am I good? Can you hear me? Is it good? And I thank you already for all your loves and likes. Oh, my God. You have no idea how much it means to me. Like, I really had this burst of energy today. And I'm like, it's because of you. Seriously. I don't like to complain, but I am in chronic pain. I have neck pain okay let me shut up see like who wants to hear that but it's the truth that's the other reason why i take a break midstream not just to go to the tinker room 
or to Tinkerbell. Um, yeah, men, you know, I love you. Ladies, love you too. But there was something, let me see. I just want to make sure where was it? Oh, yeah. So when, when I said fake news or fake people, and then I'm going to talk about some real news. Well, there's a reason why I picked this particular fake look because I'm going, this is what people are trying to sell, that this is happiness. And this is like, look at me, look at me. <laughs> I could just see through the pictures. Like, really? You want that? People are looking for that? This is not about trashing people and be like, oh, you look like shit. No, it's like, y y just looking at you, I can probably say what show I'm going to get into. But before I even go there, let's see who's with me already live. I want to say hello to you, both on Rumble. Hey, the Rational Texan, welcome. Great to see you. Yeah, right, Disney disgusts me for so many reasons. I know. And I mean, even like before, like the recent woke shit, um, we, you know, we knew, right? We knew like all those like hidden messages and all the cartoons and we're just like, oh my God. Yeah, what a way to kill it, right? But at the same time, I prefer the truth. Like show me the truth, whether it devastates me, whether it disappoints me, I'm cool. But wow, this is a whole nother level. So yeah, yeah, the rational Texan. But uh, okay. Now, YT, Twitch, don't be shy. Sometimes Twitch watches, but they don't say anything. And then they do, and then I'm like, oh! Welcome. Let's see. Hey, Carrie Lewis checking in the major. All right. On YT, that's cool. Whatever it is. But you know, if I disappear, look for me. Because unless I'm dead, I'm not going anywhere. Not as long as you guys are around. Hey, Sean. Henry. Hey, Billy Joe, how you doing? Hold on. Sorry, guys. Uh, hey, Wesley Corn. How you doing? Ordered hat. Oh, it was you? Today I saw this notification. I think Flexi hat or something. I was like, oh, my God, I wonder which uh, image you chose. Like, was it the how you doing with the smiley sunglasses guy? Was it, you know the color poof with my, from that designer that I've been collaborating with, who's got many more designs to come and we're working on like making them look good and stuff on all the merch. Um, <laughs> Victor, ha ha, bibbidi babbidi boo. <laughs> hey, Jorge Esquivarria. Welcome. Who else? I want to make sure I don't miss any. M, M in the house. M, M, did you watch my last live stream? Or at least, because aren't you, uh, on Locals MM, um, Dr. Shiva responded. Anyway, we haven't set a date yet or anything. I mean, he's like, I guess contact my assistant. But still, still. And uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so psyched. I really feel in my veins that I'm going to have so many new, not just new speakers, but like, Oh my God. I just feel like the universe is because of you that it's, it's attracting or maybe, maybe it's just the right timing. You know, I believe in fate. <laughs> no matter how much I work hard, it's like, nah, I gotta happen. It's not in the cards. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not in the charts, not in the stars yet. Not yet. I never give up faith, but believe me, I am as human as anybody. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Can't catch a break. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm not trying to scream in the, in, the, in the microphone, but to be real, I'm just showing you real, real. So it was you. Wait. No. Oh, wait, wait. It says, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I get so excited. I'm like, ah hey, Olga in chat. Can't wait for your interview. Oh, so you know. Thank you. Yes, it will be epic. It will be so epic. You know he's a Sag, Sagittarius. I don't even know if he believes in that. <laughs> yeah. But like, I got a feeling. Oh, I want to work with him. I mean, it's not just about having him as a guest. And I kind of 
alluded to that in, in the messaging. Um, mm, I just feel like like-minded and like souls get together, baby. Ah, I feel like there's going to be a major detour. Not that I'm going anywhere. So, well, I can't really share. Let, let's start out with this shit. This, uh, hold on. So the Disney. So, you know, especially with these major places, I really can't share. Because if I, I think I even, if I even do two seconds, they'll screw up my entire channel. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I make any money on ads to begin with. You guys are everything. That's a fact. But, you know, it's like, Jesus Christ, why can't we just? So I saw this trailer. I didn't watch the movie and I refused to, and I will not spend any money on it, but I'm like, let me just see what clips I can find. And, and like I said, I think if I play even three seconds, I'll be screwed. But, but the point is, is that I wanted to highlight that I think this version of Ursula that was, what's her name? Melissa McCarthy is a groomer. She's not the Ursula. Don't get me wrong. Ursula was a witch villain, but it what didn't come through as grooming where this one came through as groomer. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not even supposed to say the word. Oh fuck. I just screwed myself again. Here we go. In the past, I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me well, a witch. Ha <laughs> She just said it right there. Oh, oh wait. Did I just laugh like Ursula? Because I'm telling you, I've been compared with villains as far as my deep voice and, you know, my drama, I guess you can say. Like, my way, my expressions are so dramatic. I think I just chuckled uh, the original Ursula from Little Mermaid. And I'm not even imitating. That's my point. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, no, no. Poor unfortunate soul. Mm, 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 mm. I know every song. But see, here's the here's the part I'm telling you that when I'm looking for it, you know, and even if I'm using Duck, 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 it doesn't matter. It's like whatever they want you to see, it's right there. How outrageous drag queen found, wait, how an outrageous drag queen found mainstream like five days ago, right? They're just trying to act like, oh, her character was based on the divine drag queen. That's not true. Change my mind. Nope. Nope. It's not that I refuse to believe it, you know, like the so-called progressives that are like, you know, in denial or uh, cognitive dissonance. No, 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 no. I'm literally looking for if that guy. And I had a friend earlier just say, actually, the, the guy who created the character or, or at least drew her, the Ursula from the animation of 1989, was inspired. The makeup was inspired by the drag queen divine. In the 80s. Yeah, I can believe that. But in no way was Ursula a drag queen. Prove it to me. <laughs> and now, if you look, let's see. Let's see some images of Ursula. Wait, okay. So we got, wait, let me see. Make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. So we got, all right, right? This is from the original animation. Now, look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. Now, I actually didn't have it set up, but let me, since I did mention it, um, Hercules, what was the name of the villain? Um, ah, with the flame on his head. What was the name? Mm. Let me see. Thank you for your patience, love. <laughs> Here we go. See, now look at that mouth, right? I mean, it's like all the villains. Okay, take away the, the shark teeth, but you know what I'm saying? It's literally the same shape. You know what I mean? You feel me? Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Let me know in the chat. What do you guys think? But no, 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 Disney, no. Stop trying to rewrite history. I ain't buying it. Nope. 
And it's not because I'm stuck in like, oh, this is the way I remember it. Yeah. But, and, and guys, feel free to leave me a link in the live chat. You know, I'll open, I'll look it up. But speaking of which, let's talk about, oh, I'm like, I don't even know how because I don't really go there. But one thing led to another. And the next thing you know, I was looking at the Daily Mail just to see. It actually had to do with Disney. And that's where the bibbidi bobbidi boop thing came through because it was like bibbidi bobbidi broke. And I'm like, let's just talk about this Disney magic, the magic of spells and playing tricks on your brain. Okay. That's what I was getting at. Like, oh, yeah, that, that, there's definitely Disney magic playing with your freaking head. So this comes through. Here we go. Or I saw this somehow. And I was like, you know what? As much as I love to talk about men and women and dating and the realities of today, that the reality is nothing's really changed. It's the belief has changed. But the truth remains that we are all desperate. Maybe not all of us are desperate, but that we want somebody, right? Male or female. I don't care. Gay or straight, I don't care. But here's things that are plaguing the world. The amount of fake, especially through social media, filters, photographs, narcissists on roids of me, 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 look at me. So I'm like, who the hell is Teresa? And I was like, Teresa was a Judas, Judas, Judas. I'm thinking, oh, she's probably one of these reality TV people. I don't watch it, but it's all right. Her toned physique in a leopard bikini during a beach vacation with husband Luis Ruelas. After real, ah, oh, see, I didn't even read this till now. I just saw a picture and I was like, let me, I want to comment on this. Real Housewives of New York and put is put on pause. Okay, okay, all right. So I go, all right, all right. So this lady is 44 years old. I'm like, look at her. I mean, yeah, I would love to look like that. But see, I eat and a lot and I cook from scratch and I make homemade bread. And you know what I'm saying? Just today, oh, I made it this bread that I had been working on since like two days ago. Yesterday I made a couple pitas and I made like a Greek ya, uh, gyro with like souvlaki. No, actually kaftevis, which is a Greek like meatballs, right? I make my own tatiki sauce. Oh my God, right? All from scratch. Organic, all great stuff, right? And then I let the rest of the dough rise more more time because it, it's going to have a different texture. And today I made it. Oh, my God, for breakfast with some bacon and a fried egg. But not just any fried egg, like from a farmer, from his chicken in his backyard, like for real, where the yolk is orange. Oh, and I fried the egg and the bacon fat. Guys, if you don't know that, that's gold. That's like gold sauce. <laughs> anyway, my point is, there's no way you can eat the way I do. But uh, when you dip that bread in that yolk, that homie bread, I mean, the, the amount of happiness and energy that runs through your body. I'd rather have some fat on my ass. But when I look at this, I'm like, mm, this is so good. But I'm like, okay, the breasts, they're not real. Right? And I'm like, okay, that's fine. All right, whatever. Prosthetics, that's fine. I'm not judging this. My point is, does, is this really the look of happiness? Because to me, this doesn't look like happiness. This just looks like a pose. This is not telling me, is somebody making love to you? Is your life fulfilled? Are you smiling every day and everybody's smiling back at you? You know, that's a fulfilled life. Not just, am I skinny? Do I look good? Take a selfie, right? So I'm, I'm big on this because I help people be happy. And literally, this shit is continuously never works. Never works. Just like a guy that thinks he's got all this money and Bugattis and blah, 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 blah. Never happy. Never. But again, if you never even had happiness, you don't know what you're missing. Some, some people attention is happiness. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I continue. I'm like, all right, well, just look at that face. Again, I'm not criticizing, saying anything bad, but like, is there a person behind this? A real person? Honestly, the mouth doesn't look real. And then you look at this with the selfie. A nice tan. But, you know, it's like everything. So you have to take a picture of it because you need to what? You need somebody to be like, you look so good. Or you're showing off. Look at me. I'm on a beach. I'm living the, the big life. 
yet we don't really know. Does this picture say I'm being made love to? And now, mind you, apparently she has a husband. Again, I don't know nothing about her. I just love picking up energy and criticism, not judgment, on what I, what I feel, right? Just like I do with the live music video reactions. So apparently, I guess she has, well, okay. So I click on this. I'm like, okay. So first of all, why would you put makeup on to go to the beach? Like, can anybody answer that? Because that's just, just that's just retarded. I mean, <laughs> like, so it's a show. The beach is about connecting with nature, smelling the salty air, feeling the sand in your toes, making out with somebody, but whether it's your husband, right? You're enjoying the world you live in, the moment. But I'm like, okay, let's check out this guy, right? Wait, here we go. I was like, again. And he's got what, is it Gucci flip-flops? Okay, I'm just saying, going, is this really what people want? Is this what people are missing? Now, look at this. Come on, come on. If you have any experience in life, been around at all, you look at this, it's like, really? Because I, I want to say, I want to say that this couple, maybe, you know, they look plastic and they're just like, uh, do they have a really personality? Do people like, gravitate around them, want to be with them? Well, let's take it even further. Let's just pull back a curtain, a pretend curtain, okay? We're just having fun here. A pretend curtain and do you, I mean, with that face, that mouth, her mouth, the makeup, the oils, do you really think, now maybe they are like kinky and it's like really good kinky, like like good kinky, not like nasty, perverted, ugly, pathetic, like we're just bored so we're going to create this crazy shit. No, 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 no. Let's think positive. Let's think the best. I'm sorry. I don't see that they're actually having like, they're making love. I'm not seeing it, guys. And I'm going, love the outfits again. Real nice makeup, real, but are they really having fun? Love the outfit. Oh, love this color too. And again, I admire that she's working out, that she looks good. She takes care of herself. I wonder, are they, is people like this happy? I don't wonder. I already fucking know the answer. <laughs> Here you go. And um, this is just, I need adoration. And as long as somebody says you look good, Oh, that's so great. You don't know what good is then. Because you can easily, like myself, pass up. Wait, I don't know if you guys can still see this. I can easily pass up. I can be on the beach. Well, these days I wear a tankini is what they call it. Because I'm like, well, I got a gut going. And I don't feel like drinking smoothies and eating protein bars just to look good. What's that doing for me? No, just because you look good does not guarantee A, your happiness, or B, that somebody's going to make love to you any better. It's not true. Even if you're somebody who's older and then attracted to younger people because they have a better body or tighter body or whatever it is, what? A, isn't there's nothing in this world like somebody who's crazy about you and in love with you. And that has nothing to do with what you look like. 100%. It's a bonus if the person you're with happens to be really good looking and takes care of their body and they're perfect and they got no inches of fat. But I beg to differ that I and many women or men like me, meaning it's about quality. It's sensuality is smell, taste, heart, energy, not looks. Not the bikini, not the freaking tan, not the fake lips and the fake tits, or even the dude. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Who's going to really, you really think this guy's like making out like Don Juan or Casanova or not that I'm saying, I'm not promoting that. You, but you get me, like, I shouldn't have to explain this shit. But if you're lost and you don't know any better, then I have to give you a little bit of a different perspective. Because, you know, that's what we do here, right? One perspective at a time here on the Olga S. Press Show. Now, here's a segue to some real news. 
I talked about the Disney magic and changed my mind on that Ursula shit. And then the fake news, fake people. And again, why are they out there? Why is the Daily Mail put in there? Oh, because she was on a show? Whoa. Show me somebody real. Put some real news of real people. Just saying. That's what I admire. And I know we all do. But it's okay. It's okay. They just shove this shit down your throat. They make you think you need to believe it. Okay. All right. But based on our weekend that we had, based on the real news, here is a little clip about veterans. I know we already discussed in the last live stream. I'm sure you've seen it because many people have mentioned it. It's like, okay, pride gets one month. <laughs> one of the seven sins. Come on now. <laughs> you think it's a coincidence? And then the veterans get one day. What? So I didn't have the time because I just found this clip today. But I, I, I just have, obviously, we know it's worse than what they say. And the veterans of not just this country, any country, but specifically this one. And specifically was because we just had Memorial Weekend. And I don't mean to bring you guys down or give you any negativity. But this should be top news, number one. And everybody should be on board on, like, speaking up about this. Okay, fine. We tank Target. We tank all this stuff. Again, like I told you, they already have all the money. They already have all the control. But again, just goes to show you that your attention and where you put your money doesn't make a difference. Not just monetarily. That's just that's just superficial and just in, in, the, in the immediate future. But the more we look away and ignore their fucker, I'm sorry, their fuckery. <laughs> oh, then you're going to see how we're empowered. And I know you can see it and you can taste it already. But here, I'm not going to uh, share the entire clip. But, and then, there were, again, I got off on a tangent. I know, I know, a little rant. But um, I didn't do, I didn't have a time to actually do the research to see, to get the numbers myself for what this guy's about to say. But I'm, like, I, I can believe it without having the research. But I could be, stand, I could stand corrected if somebody can give me the research or I'll find it later on. No problem. I'm all about the truth, period, end of story. It's not about being right. But this is kind of like with the jab and all that shit. And how many people there said they were going to die because if they didn't do that and they didn't do this and they didn't comply, boom, shakalaka. Here we go. It's about how foray.org. We were just thinking about how to honor folks this year at Concerned Veterans for America, cv4a.org. And it struck us, you know, that we've been talking for the past couple of years about how the current war, the global war on terror that just wrapped up, that we've had more veterans and military members die of suicide in this era than we have in actual combat, right? 30,000 versus- Oh, did you hear that? Let me do that again. Members die of suicide in this era than we have had more veterans and military members die of suicide in this era than we have in actual combat. Let me rewind a little bit more. We're talking about the whole Iraq, I believe he's talking about the whole Iraq thing, for example. For example, which is one example. CV4A.org. And it struck us, you know, that we've been talking for the past couple of years about how the current war, the global war on terror that just wrapped up. The global war on terror. That we've had more veterans and military members die of suicide in this era than we have in actual combat, right? 30,000 versus 7,000, to give some rough numbers. More than four times as many have died of their own hand. Uh, and it You see that? You see that? It's like the same way they're trying to convince everybody about racism. Bullshit. And at the end of the day, the truth is, and anybody who just looks for a second, I don't care what you think, whose side you think you're on. I'm on no side. I'm on the truth side. I'm on the help people fucking side. Okay? And that's the truth. I don't know. I don't have my own research, right? Even when they do give you statistics, we don't know. There's always some fallacies and mistakes and all that. But you think, you think, you don't think that's possible. That there's more death by, by hand by suicide, just like black on black. Shut up, people. I don't take sides. I care about everybody. But you know why I care? Because I got to live on this planet with all of you. 
And when the more people that are miserable, the more they make my life miserable. You get that? You get that, right? Right? <laughs> you feel me? It's like if you want your business to run right and people are fighting, you got to cut the drama out. Right? If you want to go to work and have a drama-free environment, yo, how do you do that? <laughs> Just a signature you know, wound of this war is, is the mental health issue. But, but exactly. the, a lot of those deaths were preventable. Uh, it, you know, it's, exactly. it is a signature wound of this war, but we need to think in terms of this war of honoring those, not just who died overseas, but those who died of, of mental, emotional, spiritual wounds overseas later and, and what we could have as a nation done to maybe prevent a lot of those deaths. Absolutely. It, it's heartbreaking to think about the numbers and of course the lives behind it, those impacted uh, by suicide. And also of course the family members who lost a loved one who have served. Uh, and John, since we have the time now, if you could just walk us through what your organization is doing to again, assist those who might be showing signs uh, of really struggling with their mental health during this time. Well, you know, Concerned Veterans for America, we focus on, on policy advocacy and trying to trying to fix the government so that the, the Department of Veterans Affairs picks up its piece here. We have a sister organization that does actually do some mental health uh, training and awareness to, to help folks around their veterans recognize th those signs. So we work on both sides. We really think that the, the VA can do a much better job if it would just follow the law that was passed in 2018, the VA Mission Act, and it would start referring these veterans who need mental health out to the community, out to community care. I hear all the time from both private and nonprofit mental health providers that they're hungry for VA mental health referrals and they're just not getting them, even though the VA has a, has a serious backlog of mental health, uh, you know, mental health cases that it needs to, to treat. Uh, really quickly, and final question for you here as we take a look here at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. You've seen these uh, these ceremonies, observances each and every year. I believe you served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, I, I, I believe you've lost several of your fellow service members. Talk to me about watching this Memorial Day, the observance each and every year. And what goes through your mind for the fallen and the families? It's just, it's it's horrible. I mean, I lost folks overseas. I lost folks since we've been home to suicide. It's been about a decade since I actually watched the, the ceremony live, uh, but it's something that's awesome. And it, it just, it, I hope every American takes the time today to watch this ceremony either live or, or you know, recorded. And just remember today, Memorial Day is about more than just backyard barbecues. It's about those who served their country, those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Uh, and some of those folks you know, have died since they've come home. It didn't just happen overseas. Yeah, it's such an important reminder. We thank you for taking the time that's right, baby. And I know, and you know, and you guys know if you've been following me that I'm working with the VA as we speak. I've had in the past, but now I'm taking it to a whole nother level. And I can't wait to share that journey with you. And I specifically am going to show you all the details for the members, specifically local members. Become a local member right now. Become a member right now and pop up on my live stream. But if not, I'll still get the notification. I'll give you a shout out on the next live. No problem. Absolutely. So I got two songs queued up for our real live raw reaction of the day. I know you're not going to see this coming. One of them was brought to my attention. And the I think actually both of them were. But it was like, anyway, random and here and there. And it was a while ago. And I kind of looked into them. Um, and then I decided, you know, nobody else asked for it. But it was in the back of my mind. And then today I said, hey, you know, I like to surprise you, especially those who always watch me live. But I'm going to do both of them. But which one I do today, I'm either flipping a coin or I can tell you guys and you can choose. Hmm. But if I'm going to make it a surprise, probably shouldn't do that flip a coin on my own. Like, I really want to surprise you and you not know what's coming. But I do want to give you guys an option live. Um, how about we play a little game? A little bit, a little bit. How about I tell you, one's a female, one's a male. And they're both artists that I've never done before. Never done before. Is that good enough? 
let me know in the live rumble twitch hey hey ryan donald usa welcome welcome to rumble hey what is it cock and balls <laughs> okay i don't even know if i'll get censored for saying your your uh handle name not on rumble clearly but on on the yt on the boob tube i <laughs> love love the connect no love the content i have to go on no i i have to go cheat on my wife <laughs> that's funny very small window sorry that i'll miss the rest of this oh well great to see you thank you um wow did you see tara reed defecting to russia wait hold on a second no i did not i did not see that tara reed the former senate staffer to joe biden who accused him of sexual assault i remember that during 2020, 2020 presidential election, has now defected to Russia. Whoa. Um, well. Hmm. What's up with that? Well, you just uh got me a little off guard. I'm like, should I get into it now or should I get into the next live stream? Song with better message, says M.M. Mm. From what I've seen, they both have a great message. But one was like a contestant, and it's in a different language. But apparently, his voice is like crazy. I don't know. See, I don't want to give you guys too much, right? What do you prefer? Do you prefer I tell you we flip a coin or you choose? Or do you prefer that I just meet female and male and I just go with it? And the rational Texan, thank you for sending me that link. I will get into it. Mm hmm. Let's see. Flip it. Flip a coin. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. You know me. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be, I'll be right back. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip a coin. On the male artist and the female artist. Period in the story. We'll flip it, right? We'll like do something like, I don't know, heads, male, tails, female. Oh my God. Did you just pick up what I just picked up or I'm just the one with the dirty mind? <laughs> What's up, baby? All right. You know me. I'm going to take a quick break. Don't go away. And if you don't, come right back. A few minutes, like five tops. And we're doing it. Come on, man. Let's have some fun. But I feel like I got my tissue ready because I don't know. I feel like they're both going to like, they. All right, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. I will be right back. Get your popcorn, get your soda, your tea, your coffee, whatever it is that you do. Go to the tinker room. <laughs> and I'll see you in a few. Love you.
Welcome back, all you amazing and beautiful people. How you doing? <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Got my quarter. Got my quarter. We are flipping it. And don't get me wrong. Like I said earlier, I'm going to do a ran. And I think it's going to be sick, boy. I've been feeling that for a while. And again, but if you give me a donation or a super chat, you go first. You know that. And if you didn't, you know it now. Again, once again, for those who don't know about the reaction video portion of this live stream, I will timestamp it later. Of course, feel free to timestamp it yourself. That would be awesome. But regardless, I'll do it. And again, the first time, don't be like, can you stop interrupting? No. It's whatever comes through. It's real, raw, live reaction. Nobody else like it. Uh -uh. <laughs> and then I will play from the top without interruption. So I got the female and the male. And you guys don't know who it is. But... Here's the quarter. Let me let me let me let me warm this quarter up. Let me give it some energy. All right. Heads the man. <laughs> Dispel between my legs. Lord help me. <laughs> All right. Real quarter. Heads the male singer. Tails. The female happening right now, live. God, I hope I don't like break something when I do this. Here we go. You remember what I said, right? Okay, All right. Let me breathe. May it be what the universe wants it to be. You saw that? Yo, it's Tails. It's the female today. So the female artist and the live surprise reaction of today is. Hold on, I'm like I'm lost in the source. Um, here we go. More set. Never heard of her. Nothing. Performs Never Enough from the movie The Greatest Showman, and she does it live. I think that's super cool, right? Let's check it out. Somehow it came to me. So it must have been a big deal, and I missed it. So this is a first-time reaction and first-time live reaction. So are you guys ready? Drum roll. You're like, this girl can't play the drums. You know, I can play the guitar and the piano and the flute. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I can't. Sometimes I, I also play the uh, bass guitar. But anyway, <laughs> okay, I'm done with the drum roll. All right, guys. Ooh, are you ready, baby? Are you ready? This is our live reaction today. Hump day Wednesday. Okay. Without further ado. Real live raw reaction of more set performs never enough from the greatest showman. Starting now. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a chill. Chills, chills, chills. Getting loud now. Can you hear it? Oh! My head. Oh, will you share this with me? Cause darling, we 
without you. Is it me? Because it looks like she's getting a little teary-eyed here. She's glistening in her eyes. I'm just saying. I'm feeling it. I'm getting it. I don't know if you see my eyes. What? All the shine of a thousand spotlights. All the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. Never be enough. All right. Towers of gold are still too little. Jill's overload right now. Overload. Oh my God. Never be enough. Never be enough. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands could hold the world and it all may. Never be enough. Ah. Never be enough. Oh. Oh. You see what I mean? When it's love, if it's true and if it's real, you can't help to feel it whether you like the song or not. Oh. For me, never. Although she's doing it with all her heart and soul, I can feel it and see it. But like... Wow, this girl's amazing. I mean, it looks kind of effortless. Man, how is this possible? How do people sing so good? Uh, never, 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 never for me, for me. Guys, if you've watched my reactions before, of course I get chills. I'm talking both thighs and my entire back right now. Like, mm -mm. this is not something I feel all the time. No, 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 no. For me, for me, for me. All the shine of a thousand spotlights. All the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my Jesus. I, I feel like I'm about to elevate from my chair. Never be enough. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands can hold the world and it all never be This was never edited? This is for real life? Says live on the thing, but like for real? Holy shit! Enough, never be enough. For me, never, 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 never. How could you possibly sing that good? She's too young, right? How does she feel this? What the? F right? Hold on. Imagine living with this person. Can you imagine them singing in the shower? Maybe in the kitchen? Like, are you kidding me? I'd be, I be. I'm in love, honey. You got me a hello, hello, hello. <laughs> never, never enough for me, Ooh. for me, for me. Exclusive on Wish 107.5. Look at that girl. What? 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 <laughs> no. Oh, shoot. I mean, yes, great song. But look at her little smile, too, right at the end. It's like, that's cool. It's no big deal. What? <laughs> oh, are we blessed? To have creatures roaming the earth with us like this. What? Shit. 
Jesus, what else am I going to say? I mean, uh, we're not talking production here. There's not a music video, right? She's just sitting in the radio station, right? Or this Wish FM. Yeah, yeah, radio station. Okay, okay, okay. Let's enjoy this from the top without interruption. Woo. Look at her, she's all shy. shy. I know, I said I wouldn't interrupt. Jesus, it's just some things, you know, they come through you. You can't just capture everything in one setting, live, unedited, unscripted. Okay, 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 I promise. That's it, that's it. I'm trying to hold my breath. Wish 107.5. Let it stay this way. Can't live. Moment and you set off a tree getting loud now. Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand, will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you All the shine of a thousand spotlights All the stars we steal from the night sky Will never be enough Never be enough Towers of gold are still too little These hands could hold Thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. Never be enough. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands can hold the world, and it'll never be enough. Never be enough. Exclusive on Wish uh, 1075. Uh, uh, I, 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 I had no idea what I was getting into because I actually, I don't, I wonder, I think I did see the movie, uh, the, 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 the Greatest Showman, right? Pretty sure. Wasn't it with the Hugh Jackman? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember the song. Mm. 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 Oh my God. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it tremendously. Totally up my alley. You know, I love songs that have meaning, you know, that have a message, especially if it's empowering or heartfelt, you know. Reality based, not demeaning, insulting, degrading, right? Or 
Did I say that right? Anyway, <laughs> English is my third language and I'm dyslexic. How about that? For a double whammy whopper. But man, do I like a good voice. Oof. And a voice like, you know, like Celine Dia back in the day, you know. And it's not like I was, I was never like a, like a diehard Celine Dion fan, but like, you know, like the Titanic, I was all about the Titanic, 1997. I actually, I had a girlfriend at the time. She was a Leo like me too. And we watched the Titanic together. Like we planned it like, oh, we're going to watch it. And we're like, oh my God, I think we're going to cry. And we, we literally brought a box of tissues and the janitor's coming and he's cleaning up and we're like, ah, you know, Jack, you know, Jack. Rose, right? And then it was such an experience and a memory that the next movie that came out, we wouldn't watch it without each other. And that was The Notebook. And oh my God, right? With uh, Ryan Gosling, I guess his name is. And what was her name from the Mean Girls? Rachel McAdams. And so we're like, oh, so we made a date. We went again. We watched in the theater. We cried and cried. And I mean, we were the last people there. The janitor's like, time to go, ladies. And we're like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's a true story. True story, true story. Never forget it. And I got to tell you, it was thanks to those movies because I had had great loves of, can't complain. God has blessed me with, with good men. Some shitty men too, but mostly really good. Like really good. And uh, we we're like, well, if they're so good, why aren't you with them? That's another story, honey. There's, there's layers to this shit. One, you're like young. Two, sometimes everything can be perfect, but there's no chemistry. It's like not enough. Or it's one way, one-sided. There's all kinds of things. But I refused to believe that that was it. And everyone's like, well, what you want doesn't really exist. It's a fantasy. Oh, for those of you who have followed me and watched my lives consistently that you, you know, I've said it many times, but I was like, I believe in true love and I will suffer. I don't care. It's like hitting the lottery when it was like, you're not going to hit the lottery twice. I'm like, mm, I'd rather die. <laughs> I'd rather live alone than never have true love. Right. Or I'd rather die standing than live on my knees. <laughs> you know this. And I, and, Lo and behold, I've helped a lot of people follow their dreams or even, you know, not leave a good situation once I was able to give them like, well, look at all this and then you decide. It's not about, oh, well, there's an old Spanish saying, it's like better the things that I know, the bad things that I know than the good to yet to be known. Talk about codependency an old like proverb type settings, right? I'm like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Just like we know life is short. No, you're better off alone than not having someone that you just can't wait to see every day, you know? Even if you live with them, even if you work, even if you both work from home. Ay, ay, ay. Well, hey, Susan Wright. Great to have you. Susan Lucy Wright is an American convicted murderer from Houston, Texas, who made head. Yo, Susan, is that crazy? That's Siri on my computer that just. How crazy is that? You can't make this up. And by the way, I don't even have Siri program on my computer, so I don't know why Siri's talking to my ass. I didn't even say Siri. You heard me. You guys all heard me. I was just like, Susan Wright. <laughs> Siri's like, she's a convicted murderer. It's not you, right, <laughs> Susan? Not you, right? <laughs> if it is, all right, all right, all right. We're all about love here. Period in the story. Anyway, uh, the other video that I had planned for today, I will be doing it. I'm not sure I'm going to do it in the next live stream, but it's definitely on the list. And I know Ren is coming up. And I'm telling you, it's, I've been itching to do another Ren and specifically Sick Boy. So uh, we'll see. But again, if you guys want your song to be first, any donation, super chat, $20 or more, you're next. Period. End of story. Other than that, we'll continue. 
Susan just said on Rumble. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can. I want to share this. Uh, this is so funny. I like a little, I guess you can call it avatar, Susan. Let me see. No, that's not what I want. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the chat. <laughs> Look what Susan said. She's like, <laughs> she's like, yikes. Ha ha ha. It wasn't me. Laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. Great sense of humor. Thank you for sharing that, Susan. And all of you, both on Rumble, Twitch, the boob tube. Share this content. Share it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you are at, whatever you prefer, whatever you love. Let's get more of awesome, heart-loving people together. We're not alone. Tag me, let me know, and I will reshare, retweet it, you name it. All right, guys. Without further ado, for now, I'm going to peace out. Join me on Locals. And become a member. Now become a member. What are you waiting for? Your love and support is everything. And every way you give it, and you do it. Check out my merch store. And seriously, let me know your opinion. Let me know what your designs you like or didn't like. You know, give me some feedback. Like maybe, maybe something like, hey, I, I would got this one hat, but I wish the, the picture, the image was bigger. Like, give me all your feedback. I would love that. I'm not doing it just to like put shit out there. I want you guys to love it. I want to love it. But like sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, well, maybe I would prefer it this way, but maybe they would prefer it that way. So I need your help. So give me all the feedback. I love you so much. I will talk to you guys very soon, especially if you're in the locals. Other than that, get ready for Friday. Oh, Friday is going to be even more on fire. I already know, regardless of the trending news. I got this one thing I'm going to be sharing about this coach and how he talks about women and it, then it's going to be that in itself is going to take me a good 20 minutes. That's why I didn't share it today. Get ready to get your socks knocked off and then some, I'm going to laugh our asses off. We're going to feel some passion. I mean, I'm not trying to pump it up. I'm just telling you. I'm already ready for ready, over ready for it. All right, guys. Thank you for smashing that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe! And without further ado, much love, many blessings, and I'll talk to you soon.